Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Yacht Addiction YouTube channel. I have an incredibly special yacht tour, excuse me, super yacht tour to show you guys today. This is an Ocean Alexander 35 Revolution, or 35R for short. This yacht is making its world debut at Flibs 2021, and we have been granted access to do a full tour of this magnificent super yacht today. It's pretty rare that I get to film the whole profile of a super yacht like this. Normally, because of how they're tied up, we can't get this side shot. Here are some of the specs of the yacht. It's 35 meters or about 116 feet. Please note that this is a first look yacht tour. I literally still have my bag on. I have not stepped foot on this yacht yet. So your first impressions are gonna be my first impressions. So stepping onto the swim platform, it looks like this folds out from the transom. And inside you have a beach club. You have a TV up on the wall and a sink. And I would imagine you have an ice maker and a fridge, yep. You have a little settee right here. And I also really like the glass window. So you have tons of natural light, no matter what time you're hanging out in this beach club. Now I think this will lead down to the crew area, but it also has some other magnificent features that you wouldn't normally see on a yacht this size. Ocean Alexander did an incredible job. First, there's a little head right here. Then I believe this space is designed to be used as a gym. So you're supposed to put either a treadmill or elliptical or Peloton, whatever you'd like to right here. Then you have a good sized window. And opposite of that is a sauna. Now through this door is where the crew domain begins. So we'll check that out towards the end of the tour. We're going to make our way up onto the aft deck. Check this out. You have another sink and presumably some storage down here. And let me know in the comments what you think of this design. You actually have a large U-shaped seating area and it's actually facing aft. Normally, like you've seen in all the other tours, the seating areas will face the actual yacht, here we're facing away. And it looks like you have another ice maker and refrigerator in these sections right here. We're gonna set our bag down. You do have side access doors on either side. which you'd expect on a yacht of this magnitude. And if we push this button, let's enter the main salon. So check out this main living area, tons of seating, Here is your formal dining area. And then check out these doors. On each side of the dining area, you have this massive door which can open up. So you can open these up on either side, creating a huge cross breeze. and this will grant you access to the side deck. We'll close that back up behind us. 
Where to next? This is the galley. It's an incredibly large space. You have your trash compactor and dishwasher over here, so it's almost like a dishwashing station. You have a wine fridge here, an ice maker. Looks like sub-zero refrigeration and freezers. You have a Wolf microwave oven, and then your actual oven and cooktop. And then here is a pantry with another fridge. So I believe this will lead down to the crew area. So yeah, we'll check that out later on. But if we make our way through this other door, this leads back to the dining area. And since we're on the main deck, we can check out the master stateroom first. Really quick, this is the day head. Now take a look at this master cabin. Massive king bed. Then you have a little seating section over here with these huge windows looking out. The TV up on the wall. And then a little desk over here. Here is a walk-in closet. You have some built-in jewelry drawers. That is a lovely touch. I believe there's another closet on this side. Now through either of these doors leads you to the master bathroom. And it's an actual bathroom because it has this bathtub with this lovely window overhead. So you have tons of natural light in here. You have a sink on this side as well as one on the opposite side. Here's the shower. And then I believe these will just be toilets on each side. Very impressive master stateroom. Now, if we head down these stairs, this will lead us to the other guest cabins. So you have a pretty large landing area. And I believe these are mirrored VIP cabins. Gorgeous finishes all throughout. And here's the ensuite. Like I said, I believe this is mirrored. Then looking over in this room. So this is a really great display of the versatility of some of these rooms. You have two single beds, but they're actually pushed together to form a queen bed. You can see right here, this is where the bed would slide over if you want two separate beds in here. And here is the ensuite. And the other room is set up the opposite, so you can see what it looks like with the two single beds. So I believe that's 10 guests in total that this yacht can sleep. So heading up these stairs, this will lead you to the Sky Lounge. Another great place to hang out. 
huge TV up on the wall. Then you have a fully stocked bar back here. Look at all these built-ins for the glassware. Then I would imagine you have refrigeration and an ice maker back here as well. And a little sink. There's a little table back here. Personally, I'd probably add a little bit larger table, make it a poker table. And I think this is another day head for this level. And through this door is the bridge. You have three stid helm seats and this is ridiculous. Look at this bridge. These are either 32, possibly 40 inch monitors. Then you have all the rest of the controls. There's also a desk for the captain right back here. And there are side access doors to get up to the bow from either side. So while we are out here, let's check out the bow. You can see they have the pop-up lights in storage all along this area. You have another huge U-shaped seating area and then some pads that are adjustable and it looks like everyone on board can fit. And this is that window that you see over the bathtub in the master. You can tell Ocean Alexander put a lot of thought into the design of this yacht. We'll close that up behind us. And going back through the Sky Lounge, this leads us up to the bridge deck. You have another dining area out here. You have a sink, another fridge, and a grill. Now you can see this space is pretty versatile. Currently they have some freestanding furniture, but realistically, you'll probably want to put a tender or some jet skis up here. Of course, you can always tow your tender, so really it's up to you. But you can see the crane over here. This is what you'd use to release the water toys and tender into the water. And these stairs will lead us back down to the aft deck. You have some storage in here. Now there are still more areas to check out. There's one more level and it's called the sun deck. So the first thing that popped out to me was this jacuzzi right here. And you do have more sun pads that wrap around it. There's also more seating over here and it looks like these are adjustable. So these can be facing forward or back, depending on how you put the backrest. Same on this side. Then you have another bar area. So another sink, refrigeration. And there's a hard top overhead. And the hard top stops probably about halfway over the sun pad but obviously there are other areas on this yacht if you don't want any type of coverage from the sun. So we're back down to the bridge deck and this will lead us back down to the aft deck. So 
So now we're going to head into the crew domain. And as you saw, there are a couple different ways to get there. But we're going to take this door right here. The AC feels fantastic in here. You have a little toolbox, your laundry facilities. Here is that door that leads us to the gym. And then through this door is the engine room. You have tons of headroom in here. And these are some serious engines. This yacht comes with a pair of MTU engines. Your top speed is in the mid to high 20s cruising at the high teens or low 20s. And I don't have the range stats on me. I think because this is a brand new boat, I'm not sure if that's public information yet. I would estimate that at a low cruising speed, you'll at least get a thousand nautical miles, possibly double that. But if I can find some more information, I will include it in the description. But sometimes without sea trial information, it's hard to know what the actual range will be. So it actually looks like through this door, this will bring us back to the galley. And then down here we'll find the crew accommodations. You can see a monitoring system for the yacht. Here is the crew mess. More refrigeration on both sides. And more laundry facilities. I think that's three total sets of washers and dryers. And then this is a hidden door so they can service the guest cabins. And if we head the opposite way, here's the captain's cabin with its own ensuite. And then there are two bunk rooms. And it looks like they have their own en suites as well. We'll stay out of other clients ways by going through this door and this is a good example of how the crew can get around without disturbing the guests on the inside they can get back down to this area if they need to so i think we'll stay out of everyone's way and we'll finish the tour over here in the gym area Thank you to Ocean Alexander for setting up this tour. Let me know what you thought of this gorgeous super yacht in the comment section down below. Until next time.